I've already done a, a review on this light, which is the Mac Magstock Mission M12. Um, go and have a look at it if you want to know a little bit more about the light. But what I'm doing now is, um, it's always been one of my favourite lights. It's, in fact, it's the main one that I take out with me. Um, and I never really did the, the, the beam shots justice when I did the review, because the camera that I was using at the time was a bit naff. Um, and here we've got the Magstock looking up this path here on its uh, second to bottom level. The next mode up and the next mode up. It hasn't got a turbo because it will hold all the levels. I mean look at that. That's just wow. Um, and the reason I like it so much is as I swing out here into kind of the distance there and let me just go through my modes again. That's my second to bottom mode. So even it's uh, you know, one of its weakest modes will get out to those two trees there that are 100 metres. Next up, look at that, wow. I mean, just amazing. Um, you can see it's, it's, not a, it's not a thrower, and the, you, don't, you, know, you don't have you know, a terribly concentrated spot. You know, you're getting a good wide beam with that. That, that's why I like it, you know, it, it, with, with throwers and flooders you're kind of trying to choose one over the other. Uh, with this, you don't. You know, you've got both. And it doesn't stop. I mean, going down to um, the furthest I can see there. Uh, I'll just zoom in so you can... That's as far as I can see. That's, you know, sort of over... 150 metres into that corner there and as you can see it's absolutely smashing that distance um, <laughs> the Mac stock M12